winter is here and that means there will be a lot of online stores selling winter coats and winter jackets. Here are five winter coats that you should avoid. If you see these in any ads, avoid the ads and even better, avoid the stores totally. Most of these items are catfish items, meaning the items you'll get in the mail will not be the same thing you saw in the images. They'll be similar, but they are just Chinese versions or Chinese knockoffs of the images you saw. Let's get into them. At number five, we have one of the most popular ones. You've likely seen this picture already in many online stores. This is the gray winter coat, light gray. It looks very modern, fancy, nice. This is one of the most catfished items in terms of winter coats. So if you see this anywhere or in any stores, avoid this. I don't get it. Very closely related to this is its rainbow cousin. This one. This is literally just photoshopped onto the a different version of the picture you just saw before. My suspicion is it's the same person that was taken. These images likely come from Instagram. So the Chinese manufacturers just take the images, make something similar, not as good looking, not as quality, not as well fit and cut. And in this particular case, they simply photoshopped the rainbow colors on the original image. If you take a very good look at the image, you will observe that it's not, I mean, first of all, it's very pixelated, but the you'll see details of the photoshopping on it as well. So that's number two. A closely related version of that is this one. It's also rainbow colored, it's supposed to be tie and dyed. That's the only way I can think of achieving that on a, if this was done properly, if this was done realistically, likely tie and dyed. But this is also photoshopped most likely because this doesn't really exist. So if you see any of these three pictures in any store, do not buy these items from there. You'll receive something from China, but it's going to be vaguely similar to what you thought you ordered. Next on the list is actually one of my favorite sweaters. It's this Liv Nielsen sweater. Now this sweater itself is not one of my favorites, but this company is one of my favorites because I have a few of their sweaters and they're very good. So if you see this anywhere, don't buy this from most stores. Buy this only if you see it on Amazon or on the Liv Nelson website. Liv Nelson is a designer in of themselves and they have their own online store in Germany, I think. So if you have Amazon Prime, your best bet is to buy this on Amazon. Plus there's a good re return policy because it looks like the company itself is not very, it's not very invested in the American market, if I'll put it that way. Next on the list is this. Now, the interesting thing is that this particular coat is one of the coats that got me into this line of work. It's one of the first few I saw a few years ago that I later discovered were catfish items and we're here today. If you see this in any store, it's very nice. It's very good looking. I like even the, the saturation of color is beautiful. However, this is not what you'll get in the mail. You get something vaguely similar again. It will look something like this, but it's not going to be this. The cut and the fit isn't going to look anywhere as good as this. And usually the length as well. Usually it's a lot shorter. Excuse me. Usually it's a lot shorter than it appears to be here. So if you see this, avoid this as well and avoid any store that sells this. Number four, I think, is this. Now this one too is very old. It's not a new coat or a new image either. And if you look at the beard, maybe it's just me, but it also looks like it's the same guy from some of the other pictures. If you see this in any store, don't buy this either. It's going to be a catfish item. And very closely similar to that one is this one. This is also a camel coat. Again, if you, the facial structures are different though, so it's not the same guy. But 
This one too has been around for a long time. I've seen this in a few stores and this is on AliExpress everywhere. So if you want any of these, the, your best bet is to go on AliExpress. You'll get the value of your money there. So if you are buying this on any other online store, you'll probably pay $120 about that. This, these coats are not worth $120. They are worth maybe $40, $50. On AliExpress, you will likely get this for about $40 to $50. So if you want any of these, go directly on AliExpress. Again, you're not going to get exactly what you're bargaining for. But you'll get a better value for your money this way. Last but not least is this white grayish coat. More importantly is the guy wearing it and the angle of the image. That's more important because there, this guy takes several pictures and somehow all his pictures end up on, a, on AliExpress. So if you see this in most stores, I don't know where the original store is that sells this or where this guy models for. But if you see these in most stores, just avoid it because you're most likely not going to have the real thing unless you can confirm the branding and confirm that he's in other pictures exclusively on the website like Icyware does. If that's the case, then you can go ahead. But if not, you're, they're likely getting it from AliExpress. You save more money, you go directly on AliExpress and you buy it. I hope this video helped. If it did, leave a comment in the comment section and leave a like on the video as well. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.